A nearly $10,000 piece of equipment could prevent cancer in West Lafayette firefighters. News 18 Samantha Tiki explains how a special washing machine could end up being a priceless investment. What looks like an average washing machine could actually help save the lives of those serving on the West Lafayette Fire Department. And it is kind of a shock that you know we're exposed to a lot more uh, cancer-causing elements than what we thought. While masks provide protection to the lungs, department training instructor Eric Doyle says multiple studies are showing high rates of cancer in firefighters, not because of what they're breathing in, but because of what's being left behind on their gear. We're going into the smoke, and the smoke is filled with these cancer-causing materials that are basically uh, attaching themselves to our gear and absorbing into our skin. The department is hoping an investment in a specialized washing machine will prevent that. We can now clean this gear that we're wearing into a fire that's exposed to carcinogens and other type of bad materials in the fire that we in the past maybe couldn't remove. Not only does the machine rid the gear of the carcinogens that could lead to cancer, it also prolongs the life of the equipment while giving peace of mind to the firefighters. If we're sick and have cancer and doing treatments, we're not going to be able to do our job, we're not going to be able to go home to our families at the end of the day. Before crews leave the scene, gear is scrubbed down with cleaner, hosed down and backed before firefighters head back to the station. Baby wipes help clean smoke-covered areas. Firefighter Justin Taylor says all the West Lafayette stations practice those same safety procedures, but they come to Station 3 to use the special washer. We just want to make sure that we're all aware of these uh, procedures that we need to take to prolong our career and prolong our life after retirement. Simple procedures and a small investment protecting those who put their lives on the line. Samantha Tiki, News 18.